Hi, welcome to the free, um, bit, uh, welcome, uh, just carry on, just carry on. Welcome to BitDef, yeah? We are the future, and um, basically, we're going to sell you our product. So, basically, we've got BitDef. Um, it's a, a new music streaming company, and we are looking to um, pilot a new service to appeal to um, our specific target audience. Um, we're planning on um, releasing this in the summer, and we need our market research to undergo to find data for um, our target audience. Next, please. Yeah. Uh, what is Bitdef? Bitdef is like it's an entertainment service for our audience, giving them new music, top artists, new artists, uh, release everything. So I will research all the appropriate um, information required. So like what we need to research will be using primary research, secondary research, experimental research, action research, and yeah. The purpose of my research, uh, the purpose of the research is so that. Um, yeah, we can show people what they want to hear and give them what they want to hear. So, um, yeah. In our research, we are hoping to find very important information that will mould our product so it will be a certain like specification. So, for example, if we have a group that like enjoy rap or any type of genre of music, we'll consider that. But we want to create a subscription. So we paid monthly or weekly, and we can find out what people are listening to. <clears throat> what we hope to achieve? Well, in a business, it's all about. It's not necessarily about how much you make, but it's about the connection you have with your audience. For example, we're going to find out what consumers want to listen to, how much our subscription would be. For example, Tidal is twenty pounds a month. Spotify is ten pound a month. But if you're a student, it will be maybe five pound a month. So they, they're considering the student use, so we're going to do that. And we're going to find out why people want to listen to BitDef. What will we achieve? Um, how will we achieve our research? Well, first of all, we're going to use questionnaires, surveys, graphs, tallies, pie charts. We're going to use focus groups so we can meet up in public and discuss a certain genre of music, why they listen to it, and what's enjoyable about it. I'll pass you on to Dave and Um, information gathered. The information we gathered, I think, um, of is audience research, such as age and gender, um, for, and the music taste. We also did the genre of the music, the range of subscription, how they want it to look, and formatting. For example, an app or web page. Um, to guarantee our success, due to the correct market research, wait. Due to the correct, oh, cut that out. Um, modeling the product around the audience, um, finding data which corresponds to their day day to day wants and needs, having a suitable budget, have a look through data to consider everyone's opinion of the products. Um, I'm pass it over to Dan. All right, this is you can't really see this slide properly, but it's basically about competitors, yeah, and competition. So our competition is basically we've got Apple, we've got um, SoundCloud, we've got Spotify, we've got um, yeah, Geezer, 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 yeah. Huh? Tidal. Yeah, Tidal, yeah. So basically, those are competitors and like, we're going to um, compare our products with theirs and look at the prices and like compare them and see, um, also compare with, our, um, compare with our competitors and also with our audience research so they can be able to afford it and if it's suitable for them or not. So yeah. How is our product similar to others? Well, we tried to format our product on the web pages similarly as we can to get the right layout for people and what they want. So we thought we thought that format was a really big part of our web page and our um, our actual company. So what we've decided to do, we've decided to take into custom our format of the web page, layouts, all that sort of stuff. Especially like the research and stuff, like research, like I mentioned before, research is a massive part. And, um, you know, we tried to kind of wrap our company around, we've tried to find as much primary as we can. We want to kind of stay away from like looking at stuff on the internet and stuff. We kind of want to be original, we want to make our own idea don't want to kind of like just completely nick off another idea but we're also getting inspiration at the same time of 
other companies like Spotify and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna pass it up to. Um, we're also, Tommy's already touched on this subject, but also we're gonna mention about how our so we're gonna have a song finding feature. We're gonna have a a page where you can view, view your payments, and also we're gonna have exclusive content. For example, Tidal was ex uh, well, the life of Pablo had exclusive um, content to Tidal, so that was a massive um, like enhancement in order to buy Tidal, so you could listen to that album. Um, next slide. And uh, you go ahead. And uh, also touching on that last slide, yeah, um, it will be suited to the uh, what's it called to the um, yeah consumer. So what's it called anything you like, it'll be suited to you. It'll be so if you say you like Chris Brown, it'll be Chris Brown for themes and like all your artists. It will show it around him, like so yeah. So what you like R and B, hip hop, classic rock, anything, it'll be thinking about that, yeah, and basically like that the consumer. So the price ranges. We thought that to make the best company we could, we thought that the prices were extremely important. Like, not to make them like either too high or too low. We kind of wanted to do something new, like do something more reasonable and efficient. And the purpose is to make it more accessible for audiences, to make it easier for them to, you know, just tap into a subscription fee anytime they want, they can just leave anytime they want. To be honest, we kind of thought of it a kind of weekly, like a monthly subscription fee, so you know, it wasn't always like a constant like week, week after week after week subscription, because it would be very tedious for people to operate with, so we kind of gone with the monthly approach. So I'm gonna pass you over to Kenny again. Thanks mate, um, what's it called? What's a, it's, it has to be, um, what's it called? Uh, within a good price range because what's called we don't need to, we don't want to alienate other um, audiences so like adults like we're gonna give them like we're gonna what's called have a specific genre for everyone so no one feels alienated so we have adults like if they like classic we'll give them um, a genre of classic dedicated to them uh, what's called kids like us um, give them what's called hip hop R and B so yeah it's gonna be based around them and it's gonna be affordable for them because it's basically gonna be aimed at short and young teens. We have been a bit deaf. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. In a bit.